Emily, oh, happy birthday. Thank you, AJ. No, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello? Hello, dear. Is Ned with you? I haven't seen him. <clears throat> and I don't expect to anytime soon. Good work. It's a piece of cake. Mm. More fun than I ever had sober. <laughs> but I'm still worried. What about? You. Dr. Jones, um... I, wow, I wasn't expecting to see you. Happy to be here. You see, if she wonders what he's doing here, so will Jason. Ridiculous. Tony's an old family friend. Yeah, but whose fiance slept with my brother? Tony would never show up at a party if he thought Jason was going to be there. I'm telling you, it looks like what it is, an ambush. I have to agree with you. I think I'm going to make myself scarce till we spring the trap. Because it's me. You know... I volunteered to go get some more party stuff, so I'll be right back. More? I, I thought we already had everything we need. <laughs> oh. Hey, Hello. Tony! Emily! Happy birthday! Thank you, Justice! Oh, <laughs> uh, what's this, a puppy? Uh, what uh, happened to Chicago, Justice? Oh, Edward, I'm sure that Chicago will be there. I forgot to give Emily her birthday gift. I'll go now. Why the rush? It's a good question. Jason. I brought a guest. Oh, Jason, you, you brought your baby? Well, welcome, Jason. Mother, I'm sure you'd love to hold the baby. He's big. You've taken good care of him. Thank you. Wow, that's a cool outfit. What made you pick that one? It's blue. <laughs> oh, shush, shush, shush. He's a little fussy. Yeah, you know it's time for his nap. Oh, oh, he's a real cutie, isn't he? Oh, you know, I do believe he has Alan's eyes. Jason, um... Can you stay for dinner? Um, you can sit next to me. You know what? I can't. We have to go. Well, next time, then. Thank you so much for coming. Here, here Mother, let me help you. Uh, 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 Reginald, would you please take Mrs. Quarterman into the kitchen to okay the roast? Sure. Excuse us. Okay. We're going now. No, Jason. You are welcome to leave. But the baby stays here. With us. This isn't right. Whoa, a lecture on right and wrong from you? I'm sorry, what did you say you did for a living? Give me the baby, you'll find out. Look, let's not get into that. We all want the same yeah, thing I for this baby. Yeah, I know what you want. Well, then you know it's the right thing, Jason. My God, we're not the only people concerned with the welfare of this child. Emily told us that social services had already been by your, your lair. And they saw that the baby is fine. I'm sure that Jason's doing as well as he can, but that's not what we're discussing. Oh, is that what this is? A discussion? Well, that's what I would like it to be. I mean, after all, what we're offering, it's not that unreasonable. I mean, look, Jason, Carly abandoned you and your child. It's not that easy in this day and age to live as a single parent under any circumstances. But under your circumstances, it's got to be absolutely impossible. It has to be a tremendous burden, you worrying about the details of the safety of this child every day of your life. To say nothing of your own, Jason, this baby exposes you to all kinds of retaliation from your, your, your associates. Imagine if he fell into the wrong hands. I don't think he has to imagine it, not anymore. Justice, could I please speak to you in the den? There's something you don't want me to hear, Edward. No, there's something I do want you to hear, privately. I know why you're keeping the baby at your place, because Carly asked you to take care of him. Well, that's really good. I admire you taking on the responsibilities of parenthood. But you don't have to do it alone. This house, this family, is willing to give you and the baby whatever you need. I mean, after all, we raised you and AJ. Look at the job we did there. And you can certainly be part of this baby's life. You can come and visit every single day if you want. But wouldn't you agree that your career and this child's safety could be fatal to each other?
Is this finished? I've stated my case, yes. Okay. I'm leaving. With the baby. You haven't been listening. This child isn't going anywhere. Look, you guys, this is my birthday, so I get to say what we do. And I think that we should um, lay the baby down for a nap, maybe open some presents, eat a lot of cake, and drink a lot of whatever, and then Jason and the baby can go home. Look, can we stop playing quarter mains for once? Look, I'm getting really tired of this game. This is no game, Emily. These people are serious. This was planned. Not too well, but planned. Is this true, Dad, on my birthday? No, Emily, a day ago. Two days maybe at the outside. Enough time to set it up, but not enough time to think about what they're doing. Now it's over. I'm not leaving here without the baby. That's how it is. So let's not make this get ugly. It's up to you. Give me the baby. Dad, please, just do what he says. No, Jason. You're not taking this baby. supposed to be in charge? I guess I am. Well, I'm telling you, it's a bad idea that's going nowhere. I'm leaving the same way I came, with the baby, and none of you are going to stop me. Just hear me out. What's the point? There's nothing you can say that'll make me leave that baby in this house with you. His mother is gone. Carly picked up and left without even looking back, which means this child has lost his mother. Now, fortunately, he's got other family and other women that can take Carly's place. There's grandmother, mom, Emily, and the rest of us are here as well. We've got a, we've got a full-time staff, a doctor on call 24 hours a day to make sure this baby gets everything he could possibly need, to reassure him that the world is a safe place. But it isn't. Not yours. Who decides that? You? And what the hell are you doing here? You have nothing to do with this. You know you're not the father. I'm concerned about the baby. Jason, be reasonable at least once. Even considering your, uh, your diminished capacity, you know that leaving the baby here is the only rational solution. Jason, we raised you. You may not remember that, but we're connected by blood. Give me the baby. Jason, you're not listening to what we're saying. Your son needs family beyond what you can give him. We're not trying to cut you out of his life. You can come visit the baby anytime you want. Well, word has it, there's going to be a party tonight. Jason. Uh, what's going on? Nothing that concerns you. I beg to differ. Last time I checked, this was my house, and these are my children. Our sons are not the issue. Jason's is. You might want to step back. No, I don't want to. Mom, do as he says. What is going on here? Everything backfired. I'll explain later. What? What backfired? What the hell has been going on while I have been occupied at a spa? Well, if you won't tell her, I guess I just will have to. My birthday got called on account of kidnapping. What? They lured Jason here so that they could steal his baby. Jason, is this true? Are they trying to take your baby? Get the details from somebody else. I don't want him scared because one of us started yelling. Emily, take the baby from Dr. Quartermain and bring him to me. Don't do it, Em. <sighs> 
AJ, you're my brother and I love you, but what you're doing is wrong. This baby belongs to Jason. Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. Parenting is more than just an accident of biology. It means taking responsibility for another human being. It means making the right choices for the benefit of the child. And as far as I can see, your choices stink. Emily, take the baby right now. statement are you making right now? I haven't said a word. Yeah, I didn't realize you'd gone to work for Jason either. You got a problem with me, Tony? No, 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 no none of that. Uh, Tony, uh, justice is merely trying to avert a, a, a family crisis. Edward, don't presume to speak my mind. Not now, not ever again. Jason, they haven't got a leg to stand on. They can't just gang up and decide to take your baby. It's called abduction and happens to be a felony. I'll have the whole bunch of them in jail within half an hour. Oh, you wouldn't dare. You, you try me, old man. I don't need any cops. You want to have something out with me, stop by any time. And for the rest of you, take your last look. You won't be coming anywhere near this baby again. Jason, please. That's how it has to be, Monica. Obviously. All right. Let's everybody calm down, OK? <clears throat> I'm sure we're going to be able to find a compromise. You, you had no right to interfere. I had no right? Who the hell do you people think you are? You keep referring to us as you people. These people, they're your people, Justice, and Jason's, and that little boy. Edward, if you throw that word family at me one more time, I swear I'll take a hit out on you myself. We may be connected by blood, but we are not family. You people don't know the meaning of the word. Well, excuse me if I don't stand around listening to you pontificate about the meaning of family. Well, hey, it's Monica's house. Don't let me stop you. It's my house. I gave it to her. Justice, we will discuss what has happened in private. I know what happened, Edward. You went for another acquisition, and you lost three ways. You lost Jason. You lost any hope you ever had of having a relationship with that child. And I know this might go down a little easier for you, but you lost me. Now, you hear this. You walk out that door, and you need never come back. Well, Edward, that suits me just fine. Please let me go with you. I'm so sorry. Don't even ask. Was that uh, Jason's limo that I saw drive away? They tried to steal his baby. What? You didn't know? Of course not. Justice, please. I have to get out of here. Let me go with you. Emily, not tonight. I'm sorry. Ned, you take care of her. In fact, you take care of everything. I abdicate. Justice had called the police. You know why? I would have told them plenty. Starting with how you used me to take a precious baby away from his father. You want to know what you missed? Please. Jason came over so that grandmother could meet the baby. Why? Because I asked him to. Why did I ask him to? because he conned me into it. He gave me this whole song and dance about how he hated to see grandmother disappointed because she would never be able to meet her great-grandson. Now, Jason didn't want to, but he did anyway because I asked him to for grandmother's sake. 
Just like you knew he would, right, Grandfather? When in doubt, throw the old lady and the kid in there. But it's all good, because it's all in family, right? When Jason tried to leave, they all lined up like some posse and told him that he had to leave, but the baby had to stay, and they used me to make it happen. You did this? We acted in the child's best interests. Who are any of you to say what that is? Emily, we were trying to help. Now, the environment that Jason has that infant living in is, is, is disgraceful. You helped yourself to another human being. You know what? Justice was right. You throw the word family around like it's an all-purpose excuse that lets you get away with any awful thing you can dream up. In fact, wasn't it in the name of family that you tried to buy Carly's baby from her? And me, how stupid was I not to see through it? I know you don't understand why we did this. But there are some things here that you don't know about. I don't want to hear it, and I especially don't want to hear it from you. You know, it's no shock that Grandfather would lie to my face, but I would have bet everything that I own that you would never do that to me. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong again, Emily. Right, and if... I can explain if you'll just listen. No, AJ. I can't. Not to any of you. Emily. I'm going upstairs. Keep them away from me. I will. I'm very sorry. It's not your fault. They fooled you, too. So this was what a day at the spa was all about, just to keep me oblivious. I thought it best if you weren't around. Oh, sure you did, because you knew I wouldn't go for this in a million years. What are you, all on drugs? Well, at least you came out of this with a massage. My tires were slashed, all four of them. And I remember thinking at the time, only a sick, vicious fool would do such a thing. I guess I was right. <laughs>